عسلامة الناس الكل مرحبا بكم مرة أخرى في شان يوتيوب الفي أكاديمي القناة التعليمية الموجهة لتلميذات الإعدادي والثانوي اليوم درسنا في اللغة الإنجليزية باش يكون موجه لتلميذات البكالوريا أداب <hesitation> لسن سيكس من يونت ثري <hesitation> برين درين سو لتس ستارت ستارتن وذا ديفينيشن وات إيز ذا تيرم برين درين بالعربية هجرة الأدمغة So, the term brain drain designates the international transfer of resources in the form of human capital and mainly applies to the migration of relatively highly educated individuals from developing to developed countries. Okay, so uh, the brain drain is the migration of educated people like scientists, doctors, maybe uh, professors from their countries of origin which are mainly developing country to foreign countries which are more developed. So this is the map of African migration. So uh, where do African inventors or scientists go? Here we have Africa. So most migrations occurs from Africa to developed country countries like United States, Canada or Europe. Also, uh, migrants move to Japan, Australia, New Zealand. So, to better understand this map, African inventor immigrants reside mainly in the US, which means they move to the US and in Europe. So this uh, map, the uh, the 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 France hosted 37% of all African inventors residing in the continent, most likely reflecting a shared language and historical ties. After the US and Europe, other countries such as Canada, Australia, Japan and Saudi Arabia are important destinations for African inventors. So, uh, here the migration occur from uh, developing countries. Here we saw the example of African uh, migrants that move to other developed countries like uh, the US, Canada, um, and Japan. So, let's see. Uh, some related words here we have the verbs to migrate, emigrate, and immigrate. So let's listen again migrate, to migrate, to emigrate, and to immigrate. So the derivation here from verb to noun immigration, migration. And emigration. Let's take each word separately. Uh, human migration. Well, here we used a human migration because there are other migrations like animal migration. Example birds. Birds move from countries to other uh, countries, which is uh, seasonal 
migration in order to mate. So, human migration, the movements of person, persons who leave their country of origin or the country of habitual residence to establish themselves either permanently or temporarily in other countries. Now, emigration. When someone leaves a country permanently and goes to live in another one. Let's see an example. Millions of Germans emigrated from Europe to America in the 19th century. Now, immigration. When someone comes to live in a different country. Example, there are strict limits on immigration. The person who immigrates is an immigrant. Okay, so uh, another vocabulary derived from the, the verb to immigrate. So, to immigrate and we have immigrant. The person who immigrates is an immigrant. Let's move on to other related vocabulary. Developing country. So, the vocab we see here is that they are connected by the Dallas Brain Drain Unit 3. We don't understand the vocab that we see in the Dallas Brain Drain Unit 3. Developing country, a poor or non-industrial country that is seeking to develop its resources by industrialization. It has a relatively low standard of living, obviously, and an undeveloped industrial base and a moderate to low human development index score. So here I didn't mention uh, some examples. Tunisia is a developing country. Egypt, Ghana, uh, Algeria. So most African uh, countries are uh, developing countries. Now developed country. A country advanced in industrial Capability, technological sophistication, and economic productivity. Obviously, like uh, the United States of America, um, uh, England, uh, France, Spain, Canada, Japan. Those are some uh, developed countries. Let's move on to another term. Swim against the tide. Which means oppose the attitudes or opinions that most other people have. Incentive, something that encourages you to do something. So it is more like motivation. Let's continue. Physician, a person who practices medicine. Physicist, an expert in. Physics. Scholar, an educated person who has gained mastery in one or more disciplines. So here we're talking about a brain drain. So draining the country from there, uh, scientist, scholar, physicist. Income. Revenue. Here we're talking about cash, of course. Gain. To obtain something needed or wanted. Uh, so here we have brain drain and brain gain. So uh, the host countries, they brain gain. Donc, le, le, العلماء والأطباء اللي يهاجروا 
لل foreign countries or host countries البلدان اللي باش تحتضنهم هي تسمى ربحة أكل البرين هذاك سو من هنا جاي term brain gain as opposed to brain drain of course underdeveloped not yet fully developed skilled having the ability to perform a task expertly and well unskilled not having a special skill or training tempting highly attractive so here we're talking about uh, developed countries that tempt those scientists to uh, to move on and uh, uh, establish uh, a new life there now let's move on to see the causes of brain drain so we have push factors and pull factors starting with the push factors reasons that are in their countries of origins so الانسان كي يمشي يهاجر فما حاجتين تدفعوا للهجره لهنا نحكي بيان سور على هجره الادمغه مش نحكي على العمال او اللي يسافروا جوست يحبوا يبدلوا الموطن نتاعهم هنا نحكي على هجره الادمغه الاطباء والعلماء سو فما اسباب في موطنهم تخليهم يهاجروا واسباب اخرى في الفورين كونتريز تخليهم يحبوا يمشيوا لها so uh, the push factors unsatisfactory living conditions lack of research and other facilities including uh, support staff decline in quality of the educational of the educational system this is really important Social unrest, political conflicts and wars, of course. كي تبدا البلاد في حرب، ما تخليش مجال للساينس باش يخدموا و يتلهوا بالابحاث نتاعهم. So they seek other uh, peaceful countries. Discrimination in appointments and promotions, absolutely. Lack of satisfactory working conditions. Low wages and income. So, those are uh, the push factors. Now, moving on to the pull factors. As opposite to the low wages, we have higher wages and salaries. Substantial funds for research, advanced technology, modern facilities. Another reason, political stability better working conditions and intellectual freedom okay let's move on to another point kunna fil part team ta vocabulary ta bish nrakzu ala al grammar the grammar focus hanna bish nta'lmu fi ders hadaya the difference between so that and so that so uh, those two terms we use them in uh, in class to express purpose cause and result let's start with with so that an action may be followed by so that plus a clause that expresses purpose or goal the clause after so usually includes a model such as can could will would may or might example i moved to england so that i could improve my english so here we're talking about the purpose i moved to england so that i could improve my english here we can replace so that uh, with in order to in order to is also used to express uh, a purpose or a reason now so that expressing cause and effect so here to use so that to 
express a result. Here, we are using so as an intensifier. Let's see an example. It was so hot that the candles melted. So here is an intensifier intensifying the adjective hot. So hot. It was so hot that now we see the effect or the result that the candles melted. So that cause and effect. This is the end of our lesson. I hope you liked it and it was uh, clear enough. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video and share it with your friends. You can also visit us at our platform at uh, www.lviacademy.com. And see you later, guys.